I found Luffy's thousand sunny from one piece in real life and I'm going to show you how to get there. We went to the largest amusement park in Japan called House Tembos in Sasebo, Nagasaki, Japan. There's a custom themed train that leaves from Fukuoka that takes you directly to the park. When you walk in, you can really feel the scale of this place. So apparently this is the biggest amusement park in Japan. What's really cool is there's over 40 attractions in this amusement park is and it's- it Yeah, it said outside there's at least 40. Yo, are you excited for this One Piece boat? I'm super excited for this One Piece boat. This is all he's been talking about pretty much. This is the main reason because One Piece is one of my favorite anime, right? Look at this. This is where we're planning to go. But this is apparently 45 minute walk. Well, this is meant to replicate a Dutch town and it does look like that. You can you, see all the little buildings and houses. Before? Ah, uh, now I have here. Okay. This theme park is an homage to the Dutch because Japan had a good relationship with the Dutch since the 1600s. They have life-size replicas of the building, landscape, and even the canals. Since the park is so big, you can take a canal cruiser, a gondola, or even a bus. So I just found this umbrella street. We just found the biggest gacha machine in Japan. And this thing is absolutely massive. It's like five times the size. I think it's more than five more times than the size time. of a regular gacha machine. Yeah. This thing is already almost at the roof. So apparently this place has a faucet where when you turn it on, chocolate comes out. Whoa. That's a giant chocolate. Inside, they had these art pieces made from actual chocolate. I couldn't believe these sculptures were made from chocolate, but this dress took it to the next level and the castle behind it too. That's a really big bonbon. So this is the faucet that spews out chocolate. The drink ticket is $3 and it's a pretty clever way of marketing hot chocolate. All right, we finally made it over to the harbor where the Thousand Sunny is docked. So they have a pirate restaurant here, which I'm super excited to try because they have a lot of exclusive menu items and I'm starving. So let's go try it out. So one of the menu items is uh, matcha zoro parfait. And you can see the three pocky sticks sticking out like his sword. That's really cool. Here are the exclusive menu items. We have Luffy's straw hat burger, Luffy's favorite meat meat burger, Brooke's soul king burger. They sold out on the thing we wanted to get. So that kind of sucks. Here is the straw hat breads they use. Yo, look at that. Here we got the two burgers. Mine has the straw hat, a giant slab of bacon, egg. And then Jesse's over here has some cheese on top of the bread, black bread, and burger stuff inside. I kind of feel like it would be a waste for us to eat this one. Like, I kind of just want to preserve this. Just take it home with you. Yeah, just take it home with <laughs> me. I'll put it my Oh, this is a food. Oh. The egg, the thick cut bacon, and the patty. I mean, you can't go wrong with that combo. I'm honestly very happy with my burger. Definitely like a solid eight and a half out of 10. So as you can see, I... <laughs> yeah, as you can see, his bun fell off, but it's a very nice bun. I got Brooks burger. Wow. It's like kare bun that you eat in like 7-Eleven, similar. You know, it's overpriced. So how much was it? Eight dollars. I mean, I can cut off like cheese shape like this and be like, Boop. One piece. But is your table gonna have Luffy in front oh, yeah. of you? So experience is what I'm paying for. My experience, <coughs> not gonna lie. Just simping over her. Nah, definitely not. I'm bit. just saying I just appreciate that she's right here in front of me. I'm not saying anything else. I just came across these floating hotel capsule things. It literally looks like the Saiyan spaceships from Dragon Ball. Behind me is a real life version of Luffy's Thousand Sunny pirate ship and I'm gonna go check it out and go join the crew. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it is absolutely massive. It's just like the real deal. I wonder if it works. I think it does. Should we go test it out? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is absolutely insane to stand next to. Let's take a look inside the Thousand Sunny in real life. Once you walk in, you can really see the amount of effort they put into recreating this boat. You can meet Usopp and see this giant life-size cannon. You can visit Sanji at his kitchen and there's even more upstairs. Alright, who do you prefer, Robin or Nami? Robin. Why? I don't know, like she's like more mysterious and I like mysterious girls. We got a blueprint of the Thousand Sunny and some of the scenes and images of what this looks like from the anime. Do you think this is like pretty accurate? This is actually, this is actually like really accurate. Like even the like size of these characters, I feel like they're like to the point where like Frank is really like huge and muscular and Luffy's like 
You know, Romain's around my height. Yo, they had this room downstairs, right? I saw this room they downstairs. Did. Yeah, but they didn't have an actual equipment though. True, true. They didn't. Virtual. virtual. What the heck? This is like real life. This is literally the garden that they were talking about I when know. they first got the ship, right? I'm like speechless. This is like what I've like seen on like anime and like what I read on manga, right? And now I'm here. But you know what else is shocking? What you'll find in here. Okay, look how tall Shock this guy me. is. Look how tall he is. <laughs> so tall compared to me. So this dude, I guess, is life size and I'm not even at his like waist. This guy is crazy tall. All right, so we're in the upper deck now and they got a whole feast and meal over here. Oh, but you know what the real meal is? What is it? Right there. This is Nami and yeah, she's like one of the most popular characters in One Piece. And One Piece I mean, I could see why she's the most popular character because of her personality. Yeah, personality, of course, obviously. What up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, this guy is really tall, too. He's the second strongest character in the in Luffy's crew member. He's like the cool captain. Yo, so we got Luffy over here. He is much smaller than I thought he would be. You're like not nah, an inch taller. He's also spreading his legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you probably you guys are probably like the same height. This kind of looks like you. <laughs> I mean, he's buffer than me. All right, so I'm the captain now. Let's go. Thank you guys for coming along with me. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'm going to be doing weekly videos, so you don't want to miss it. See you on the next one. Peace.